The book is Vesalius's Anatomy, published in 1543, which single-handedly wiped out 1,500 years of medical tradition and introduced a new way of thinking about the human body. Vesalius had this opinion that physicians actually had to get involved themselves in the dirty work of dissecting in order to truly understand what they were doing. You have to remember at the time there was a huge taboo still on dissecting human bodies. One of the things that I love about my work is, is provenance research, is working out who owned the book when. I look at the back of the first page and there's a stamp there. But I remember that the black octagonal stamp was one that was used for, uh, to record the, the gift of the library of a man called Hans Sloan, who eventually became court physician to Queen Anne and then King George I and King George II. The British Library itself was founded on the collection of Hans Sloan. I go back to the beginning of the book where I see these cryptic little symbols which turn out to be actually Hans Sloan's own catalog marks. Right away, it, it's, there is no doubt about it at all. This is an incredibly important book that belonged to an incredibly important person and it becomes something completely different. And here we have perhaps the most famous anatomical illustration ever produced where we can see the scene of a dissection and a scene of actually incredible chaos with animals everywhere, people all over the place. The only person looking straight at you, the reader, is Vesalius, the author himself. He produced this very beautiful book, which is now seen as the most beautiful anatomical work ever produced. A novel, unusual combination of science, art, and typography. When something really special comes and really kind of grabs you by the lapels, it's a wonderful feeling. It encourages you to always be receptive to that kind of discovery.